You've been doing something on pastors. And you said the Ghanaian youth should stop going to church, should stop listening I, to pastors. I, um, I did not say that they shouldn't go to church. But I'm saying that they should limit the number of hours and days they spend mm -hmm. chanting rubaba, 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 rubaba. You should limit the hours? Yes. So if I do that for five hours a week, is it too long? Yeah, you are dumb. If I do that five hours a week, how many hours should five, I do that? Oh, five so hours a week. A week, five a hours day. a week. A week, five hours five a week. Five hours, yes. It's five, fine. So I, 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 five hours. So I did, I did, I did a little okay. bit of that last night. So about, about till this morning. Oh, it doesn't mm. mean anything. Oh, it means something. The day of Pentecost. Yes. We, we, when we are speaking in tongues, yeah. would your people here even understand what you are saying? No, And the day not. of Pentecost, mm -hmm. when they were speaking in tongues, mm -hmm. or say, even some from Arabia yeah. who hear their language, yeah, sometimes you can understand. Good. It's, you are using sometimes. Yes. Because and there I, are two types of tongues. And I, what type of there's tongues? one that is for the edification of the soul. Uh -huh. That is preached by Apostle Paul. And there's uh -huh. one that is for interpretation. Uh -huh. The one that occurred on the Pentecost day that uh -huh. Peter talked about uh -huh. is the one for interpretation. Because uh -huh. it was prophesied and Prophet Joel uh -huh. had prophesied it earlier. So it was uh -huh. like a public show of something. Uh -huh. So that's the interpretation uh -huh. one. Beyond that, there's one that is for the edification of the soul. Because when you speak the, in tongues, you speak in mysteries. You speak in tongues is mysteries. Mystery ben or speaking. A mystery ben. A very popular. That's why they call it mystery. It's mystery. You speak mysteries. It's mystery to you. It will be mystery to me, but it will be for the edification of my soul. Good. So tell us your experience with tongues now. What kind of edification of your soul? Tell Ghanaians. <laughs> you know, okay. all I'm so, saying yes, is that religion. my brother, uh -huh. I believe in God. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that anybody who says there's no God, to me, mm -hmm. to me, is a fool. Yes, correct. Okay? I believe in God. But God has created us as a superior human being over all his creations. That's correct. Okay? So, I'll give you the parable of the talent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The parable of the talent. When the rich man was traveling and gave Talent, some yeah. talents to... 5, 15, yeah, 10. Right. When he came back, the one who said he was afraid of him and hid the money, yeah. and could he, he took it. Mm -hmm. okay. The second one, he said, oh, I made a profit of this mm -hmm. much. Okay, hold on. Then the third one, so I made a profit, I doubled it. He said, the one who hid his money, he shared it proportionately to the others. To the others, not equally. Ah, yeah, that's interesting. I never thought about that. Not so, equally. May, proportionately. Yeah. Proportionately. Yeah, yeah. Not uh, according equally. to how much you made. Precisely. Yeah, that's good. I've never thought about uh, good. it. You can be a preacher, you know that. Now, say, my you can be a preacher. <laughs> my BK, RS, theology. You can be a preacher. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Tell, oh, but have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yeah, why not? When? Now I'm a Christian, man. Now you are baptizing me, baby. No, the 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 accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Pastor. And I'm saying now Pentecost, he may call Pentecost or Lagos town. Man, you born in the Apostolic Church, we make room. May a Methodist see me born and bred into Methodist. What do you say? So you are in they the say, Christian thing. I like the way Catholics, you know, a year we make a simple preaching, and you go Methodist press before any. Just a corner press before two no more. Mm. Not our single. I don't know why all these traditional churches, you know, Ghana for the journey, for the river, on baby beer, river back, river. So what I'm telling the youth is that instead of spending so much time, look, on religion like this, on so much me, you see, oh my people are doing really well today with these photographs. Sebe uni uni me me kramaya or don't fear or damn chance any. What's the difference? Mm. What's the difference? The picture that you are seeing. So I'm telling the youth to take their destiny into their own hands. When you believe in religion, I say religion, not Christianity. Religion, too much. No, you become lazy. Because you become over-dependent on God for everything. Mm -hmm. If God wanted every individual to depend solely on him, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have given us this brains. Mm -hmm. He would have created us just like the birds. In the air, who don't plant anything, don't sow anything, and they eat every day. Mm. But God created us as a super human being of all his creation. So he gave us brains to use. Mm. If you are an SDA member, mm -hmm. 
you choose to go to church on Saturday out of the seven days, I don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. If you go to church on Sunday, I don't have a problem. But where I have a problem is today, a Mercury, today, queer, one, one, you know. Going to church too frequently. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So who should work for you? Who will have a car fix the country? Mm -hmm. The white men who brought this religion, Christianity, mm -hmm. they are working. The white men, you call them white too, who brought Islam, they are working. Look at Dubai. Mm. Great example. Look at uh, the Arab Emirates. Mm -hmm. Go to Turkey. See development. So why are you always Allah, Kubad, Muslim, Lash, Rahim? Now so hey, 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 that's not true. We don't we don't do that always. You ah. you see churches have done great things. The National Central Gospel Church has a university, the Central University. Yes. The Lighthouse Church has built a lot of things. Yes. The uh, Action Chapel has built a Pentecost Church. Recently donated a prison to the Ghana Prison Service. Super. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that religion is impeding progress in this country. Is it? Look, my brother, go around and see. You go to my village, one my constituency, in some villages. You have all mad houses. The only block building over there is church. Mm -hmm. You see, now the question is, can't you use the same effort also to build a small gari factory? Mm -hmm. You can. You see, collectively, they put up a block building for church. Mm -hmm. You can collectively also put up a small gari factory or soap factory. That is why I'm saying that religion is impeding progress in Africa, not only Ghana. Not only Ghana, okay. Okay? So if you put in the same effort to build a church, I don't have a problem if you are doing the same for jobs for you know the youth of that area also to get jobs. Fantastic. You've given an example of uh, Dr. Churches. Mensa Utabel. Build the university. The university. You have Methodist University. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem. But I'm saying that. Please. Yeah, okay, there are fringe elements. There are fringe elements. Yeah, yeah. They are destroying. There are good yeah, churches. Yeah, yeah. There are good pastors. Mm -hmm. There are good priests in this country. But the problem with all of them is that they look at these fake ones, destroying them, and they are not saying anything. So you lump everybody together. There are good ones. But you sit there and few fake ones destroying your mission and nobody is saying anything. Did you, did you observe the person of TB Joshua? Did you see it? he died? Yeah. This is somebody that you liked? Or a fake. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I have said it a long time, so we're a fake. Mm, how do you know? Ah, we're a fake because with him. My wife's sister, mm -hmm. when she had cancer, brought money, that time she was in America, brought money for the woman to go to Kolebu. In fact, a doctor actually went to her house to take her to go and do it. The woman said, no, she's going to TV Yeshua. She took the money and went to Lagos. When she was in Lagos, he said she could not even see TV Yeshua. His young, young, young pastors. Then he came back. The sister called. Oh, sister, oh, I'm feeling very good. It's nice. TV Yeshua is good. He said, hey. Okay. This woman, breast cancer, it happened again. And she was begging at Kulibu for the doctor to cut the breast. Because of the pain? Yes. Yeah, Otitema. She died. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, I ask you a question. Who's it TB Yeshua can heal you? Eh? Why is it that he sees what is wrong with everybody and when his building was collapsing he didn't see are you dumb you are dumb to waste your time going to have you seen the confession from one of the ladies that mm. he was sleeping with all of them have you have you have you seen it no which ladies oh how you haven't read it 
the story of TV Joshua, the confession, the lady has come out. Hmm. Maybe the ladies are not my problem, but I'm saying that a man's structure collapses. Over 100 people died. So if TB Joshua can say, Sir, today, Kwame Japan, you are going to fall sick tomorrow. And I have to go and see him for praise. But the same man did not see that his building was going Maybe to Maybe God didn't show that to him. He yeah, can please. speak of what Tell God has shown him. Hmm. Tell that to the dogs. Hmm. Tell that to the dogs. You see? So these are some of the things. Over here, Obi ni monomo a box boxing. A kofa, a Ghana for me a dam. I quite want to make a passport. I did share in pub when we say, "Was it money? Money? Oh, you are going to America? Hey, are you stupid?" I'm sorry about that. I saw that video. It's, it's very bad, very embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, all the things that they do, some can be very embarrassing. You know, and let me tell you, these pastors, priests, everybody. When they are sick, they consult a doctor. They go to hospital. Like the Pope. And then you see a Pope who do a surgery. Please, I'm not a Satan, but I'm telling you the gospel truth. Mm. When we are sick, go to hospital first. Before you pray. Doctors and also they are man of God, if that is what you want to do. I believe that, yeah. They are also man of God because God has given them this. And it's easy to be a doctor. At That's all. why I admire them. Did I call me jigase or sabo or sabotage? You know. So you see a doctor that God has also given him this brains to diagnose whatever disease you have. Mm -hmm. But after that, you pray to God. I don't have a problem. Mm. But the first option must be the medicine. Yes, you go. Then you go pon or catch yourself. You mfa habama enye diye. Yeah. Yes. So, I don't know if be a mama so for breast, and I'm not going to cry. That's the problem I have. Not that I don't believe in God. So, I'm saying that the young men and women should not be over reliant on God. Mm. They should take their destiny into their own hands and work hard. Don't also rely on government for everything. Every individual all over the world who relies on government for his survivor becomes an underdog in society mm. because the government has a big stake that everybody he has to take care of so how much can he give you as individual so you have to work hard mm. go out of the norm begging and do something that is what i'm saying after that if you go to church on sunday or saturday i don't have a problem how long two hours i don't have a problem mm. for two hours if you dedicate Sunday to worship God, no problem. The whole day. Yes. If you so dedicate you can do the hey, ba, 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 on Sunday. Yes, if that's what you choose to do. <laughs> but just in the seven days, and every problem that we have, we should be able to solve it ourselves. Instead of saying that me, me, my grandmother is a witch, my uncle is a witch, we, you know, those things. And it's all coming from religion. The pastor's telling them. Yeah. And your pastors in Kwao. Malam Fonsuka. Oh, Malam say your mother is a priest. Mm -hmm. When we talk of religion, we are not talking of only Christianity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? We be called Malam, we be a you sick at it? Send me a I've been dead by now. Why? Yeah, because of the things I say. The Malams you challenge, the religious people you yes. challenge. Yes. I've been dead. I should have been dead by now. It's not true. What I am doing, probably I'm doing God's work than even those who proclaim to be. I can believe that. I can believe that.